had a teacher work day at school today and I have been cleaning and organizing. So I thought I would give you guys a tour of my classroom today. So right when you walk in the door, you can see my cubbies are here to the right. I have an easel and our emergency book bag. The cubbies just have some textbooks and tissues and wipes over here on this side. And then on down through there on the top, I have different things that my students use. I have whisper phones, whiteboards, books, and on the bottom here, I have baskets that my students keep their books in for when they read to self or read to someone. Above the cubbies, I have a board here that has all kinds of nonfiction features on it. Over there is my awesome work wall. I took everything down on Tuesday, I guess it was, and I haven't put any work back up yet. I have this rectangle table here that we use for small groups, and those are reading games that I'm getting rid of. And then back here in the corner, I have a rotating library that has books in it that are leveled. We rotate this across the second grade classrooms. In the cubbies here, I have math books, some laptops I checked out from the library, our basket of clipboards. A friend of mine actually made me this, and this is where I keep some of my writing paper. I need to make copies for some of those pockets and some of them I need to change because I don't like what's in there right now. On this little shelf I have some stuffed animals that my students use to read with. Down at the bottom is a book repair basket. That's where they put any books that need to be repaired. And then there's a lot going on on this bookshelf back here. On this side, I just have some base 10 blocks, keyboards for my word work, teacher books down there on the bottom. I have some children's dictionaries. And then up here, I have my word work bins. I was talking about this in my What's in My Teacher Backpack video and want to know if you guys are interested in seeing a video on those. I have word work folders and when I do math rotations I put different things in these colored baskets for my math rotations. This is money that we use for a game called collect a dollar. All of this here is for writing. I have writing paper, I have writing prompts, and then I have their writing folders there. I also have a basket of number strips and then all of the baskets that have stars on them are leveled book baskets. So this is where my students choose books to read for read to self or read to someone. Above that is our Pledge of Allegiance and our flag. Over here I just have some math resources. This is the math investigations curriculum that we use. This is actually the old one and then the new one. In this basket, I keep my Scholastic News. And this is my file cabinet. I just keep files in there, obviously. A little calendar that I change daily. And on this side, this is where my students choose their lunch choice. They just put their name under whichever choice that they want. And then I can let the cafeteria know. This is a clear storage container. I've just got lots of random things in there. And then I have other random things in that file cabinet. This little desk here, just sometimes I have students sit there if I want them near me. And then they have their mailboxes and that's where they keep all of their unfinished work. I have a closet there. And then this space here is kind of my teacher area where I keep all of my teaching materials. I have this Sterilite drawer container that has labels for different things I use in the classroom. I have some wipes. I have testing materials, data notebooks. This is where I keep some fluency and small group 
um, intervention stuff, my math, teacher's edition, word work, math homework, and then this is weather journals that we do throughout the year, so I just keep those there. And then we are observing a tree on our playground. In this basket, I have my social studies and science. Here, I just have this little tote that's got all kinds of pins and markers and stickers and erasers and sticky notes and a timer and all kinds of things I may need. A stapler and tape dispenser. This is some, it says upcoming work. I keep work in here that students need to finish. And then this is the purple basket where they turn any of their completed work in. I have an iPad charger. This is where all my graded work goes and needs to be filed. So anything that is completed and checked goes in there. This is my graded work crate. I have file folders in here with numbers on them. And this is where my assistant files all of my students' work. I don't use names, I just use numbers so that I can reuse them every year. And I have two sets. So the front set is for all of their completed work, checked work that goes home. And then the set in the back is for any notes from their parents or any important information that I need to keep about each student. This does not go home. And then I keep their Friday folders back there. So they're really convenient for whenever, you know, she can just pull out their work, put it in their Friday folder and it's ready to go home. I have a set of books here that I'm gonna be using next week, the fire cap. So I just keep those there. And then these are their STEM lab folders. In these two crates, I have math games that go with our math curriculum. And I have hundreds boards and 200s charts. And then all of my games, I just keep in manila envelopes for math. This is uh, actually word work there, but everything else is math. And then this is where I keep all my phonics lessons. On this board, I have my learning targets that are in sheet protectors. I bought these on Teachers Pay Teachers and I absolutely love them. They're kid friendly, they're easy to see, and I keep them in page protectors on the wall or on the board. And then on that board, I just keep student work. I have an alphabet and thinking maps up there. And then I have this closet, which has our schedule. And then there's Paisley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have some things that students have made me down there. I have our rules and then some other things. This is my teacher area. So I teach from here, kind of like my teaching station. And I have my document camera and my smart board right there. So I'm really close to the front. I have my laptop and some organizers there to keep myself organized. Over here I have this pink shelf that I keep things that I need to reach for pretty frequently and so that's there and then my smart board with my projector and then down below is my recycle box over here I just have that brown shelf with a radio on top of it and then I have our walkie-talkie there because it stays in my room I have a student's desk right there because she just needs to be right there. So as you can see, I also have my sit spots. And this is where my students sit in the floor so that they can be right in front of the smart board and then I sit over there in my chair and so I'm, you know, right there with them. Over here I have some posters that we are using right now for our social studies unit and then my clock and some anchor charts that I've made for different things throughout the year. I have my calendar for January and then I have this bookshelf that holds all of our math manipulatives. These two baskets 
have paper. The one on the left has white paper and the one on the right has notebook paper. And I have those large dice that I just bought. I haven't put those in a container yet. And then I have another laptop there. So down on this shelf, in these containers, I have connecting cubes. These are magnetic letters. I have these little blue and green containers that I got from Dollar Tree that have base 10 blocks. There are a few more down there that have digit cards, dominoes, counters, and then the clear one has a game called Beat the Calculator in it. This box holds bags for a game that we play called Enough for the Class. And this box has wooden geo blocks in it. Over here I have two sets, no three, three sets of calculators. Those are colored tiles. These containers I got at Dollar Tree and they hold pattern blocks so I can just grab a box and put it in the middle of their table whenever they're using it. I have digit cards here, more pattern blocks, more pattern blocks. In this container I have play money. These are my geared clocks that we use. And then these two boxes hold some extra investigation materials that I use for math. As you can see, I have my kids' desks in groups. And that is a tour of my classroom. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a tour of my classroom today. If you have any questions about anything, please leave them down in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. And I'm gonna head on out of here because my room is clean and I'm ready for Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see upcoming videos in the future from me and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.